I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship, but nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, coach. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football's my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> M. Looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? <laughs> okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh, off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I think I'm gonna have to go with purple. <laughs> purple. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, look. <laughs> you see, look, you don't you don't pick from the options given. Alright, the game is in the name. Off the board. Uh, now it's playing. <laughs> okay, look, if I had a unicorn. I'd have a mane that matches his horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah, Onyx. <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns? Uh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Well, uh, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. What if during the game... I came up with sort of some sort of signal to give you, so you know we're thinking about you. No, not as good as four touchdowns. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's great seeing you guys. Great seeing you too. It was nice to meet you, Emily. Nice to meet you. She loves it. Okay, all right, all right. Get on the bus. We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah, not, not at all. It, no, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real. He's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game. He punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and psh, we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Sure, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back. 
right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, coach. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the College Football Playoff National Championship game. As we'll see the Oregon Ducks taking on the LSU Tigers. One game to decide it all. It's the College Football Playoff National Championship and off we go from Levi Stadium. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Ducks come up now first and 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Ready? From the gun, Birch. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. The Oregon Ducks looking for that elusive first national title. Of course, they've been in the National College Football Playoff before behind Marcus Mariota following the 2014 season. And they beat Florida State that year before falling 42-20 in the championship game. Throw left side complete. It's Carlson. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. To throw on third down, Birch hauled in by Anderson left side. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. With one game of college experience now in his pocket, this young quarterback leads the Tigers up first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, wide open is Streets. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. First and 10 at the 37. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage and mixed traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. They'll look to throw here. And an alley to run. Well, apart from Kyler Murray, not too many mobile QBs in this year's rookie class, but some good scrambling there to get the first. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. They're going to be stopped up on this first down run. He might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. the play fake he'll look to throw under pressure and he will go down sacked back at the 46 
But that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big shot. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. On second down now, Livingston, and he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. A 10-yard touchdown run. And LSU has taken the early lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. And here no go, run back here, here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Ducks set to go on offense as they come to the line. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it actually serves that way. You get a second opportunity. Nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. But it's brought in by Washington. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They'll run with Keller. Breaks free again. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. A loss of two there, second down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. To throw on second down. Birch out left to Anderson. Pass the 20. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Here's a first and 10, Oregon. Operating from the gun. Birch looking middle, and it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one more. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Oregon. Quintez Anderson there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. 
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Back to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fade. And that one hits at the 7, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The Oregon offense on the field ready for their next possession. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And he'll be upended after a gain of five, up to the 25-yard line. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. From the gun, Birch, incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. Charles, we talked in the semifinal about Isaiah Street's brother, Ezekiel, lost due to leukemia exactly one year ago today. But since then, Isaiah's been active in trying to help those who are going through the same struggles his brother went through. He formed a real bond, in fact, over the summer with one of them, 11-year-old cancer patient Emily Atwood of Centerville, Texas. And we're told that Emily and her father, Tom, made the two-hour drive up to Arlington a week ago to watch their semifinal final victory and got to spend some time afterwards with the All-American receiver and his new quarterback. And folks out there should see how Isaiah's face lights up when the discussion turns to the young lady. He calls him and the inspiration that he takes from her fight. It's really something special to see. He makes a point to call from the locker room after every game and he says, listen now, she's not afraid to tell me if I do something wrong. She'll critique me in a heartbeat. But it's good to see a young man who wants to get back, one who gets it, and Isaiah Streets certainly gets it. Emily, too, said to be watching from her hospital room. A surgery scheduled for today, and now she's got a receiver and a quarterback that want her to know that they are thinking of her. And, of course, we're thinking of her as well and wish her all the best. Absolutely. The Ducks come up now first and ten. Going to go with Keller here. Accelerating and off he goes. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness to it? Just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys. Plays like that really hurt. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Oregon set to kick it off. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. That 7 0 lead of theirs short lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So, what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Oh, he's able to have muscle in here as he pulls it in. And he's taken down right at the 45 yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. They'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. That's back to back plays of over 20 yards. They go play action here on first down. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught in streets. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's a first and goal, LSU. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he slings one that's incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. Isaiah Streets there to make the grab as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up and then you got a brand new ball game. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now Birch to the right side and complete to Washington. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Birch will look to throw it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 18. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. First and 10, LSU. And they'll indeed take a knee. One more half to decide it all. We are tied in the national championship game.